Hello YouTube, welcome to the fake Merc character study part 16. I know that you guys have been waiting for this one for a long time and I actually appreciate you waiting for a month because the reason why I cut the episode in two was not only because it was too long. I mean, you know me, I make two hour long videos, so the length has never been an issue. Some of you guys actually guessed it, but as usual, Jason is too stupid to see traps when they are clearly laid in the open for him. So what I wanted to do actually is give him enough time to react to the, uh, to the revelations I'm going to make today to see exactly how he was going to play it. And of course, as expected, he played it in the most horrible way possible, meaning that he gave me more information, more ammunition, and he made the revelations that I'm going to actually lay bare for you guys today even worse because he tried to damage control, which is something that you should never do before the allegations are revealed. Bro, this is like damage control 101. You just fucked yourself up because now everything I'm going to say is going to be revealed as correct because you reacted so rashly. So exactly what happened was this. I told you last time that I have access to direct messages of Bloho with women. And that is correct. But what I didn't have was the ability to show them to you directly because sadly, I cannot post Facebook screenshots in my community page because that's actually a motif for termination of the page. And I cannot include them in the videos either because that could actually get me copyright striked and across the board get this entire series completely terminated. And that's not something I want. And therefore, I needed to find a way to have him react in a strong enough fashion to show to you guys that what I'm going to tell you today is justifiable and to give me a way to then provide sources. So this is what I, I did. I actually leaked it and I teased it in a sense because I knew that he was going to freak out because he knows what he's done. He remembers those messages because he has, he has access to them. And I knew he was going to go back and do something rash because he never thinks about anything before acting. And he did. So exactly what happened is this. First off, he created a bunch of sock accounts with female names to comment under part 15, because in part 15, I clearly said that no woman wants his ass because he's super ugly. And that is just a factual proof, uh, proof by the way. And he immediately felt the need to go on Google image and to then create female sock accounts to spam my comments saying stuff like Jason is attractive, Jason is good looking, you are not good looking, a bunch of projection. My favorite one being that he has now taken upon himself to call me smelly and to tell me that I am losing my hair. I don't know if you see this blow, but this is hair. What you have that is like this, the skin that you have that looks like an egg on top, that's called being bold. Okay, hair, bold, hair, Bold. That's the difference. Okay. This is someone with a full head of hair. If you want to see someone who's bold, go look at yourself in the mirror. As for the smelly part, you tell me, look at the state of your apartment. I think we both know who the smelly one is. So that's number one, the proof that he was rattled. He knew something was going to go down, something pretty severe. So he had to resort to do the old trusty sock accounts, of course. But more than that, he didn't stop there. He actually went as far as to dug a female client from his database in an attempt, I guess, to show that women like him, but Bloho, first and foremost, that female that you pulled out of your hat is not interested in you. She has a husband. You're coaching her husband. So she has absolutely jack shit to do with you in terms of dating. So I don't know what that proves. And on top of that, she didn't know who you were. Because yes, she was contacted. Do you realize how stupid you are? Not only do you fuck up your own life, you fuck up other people's life too. We have the name, the identity, the address, and the place of work of that poor woman. And I can tell you that she already received several phone calls. And as with just anyone who associates with you, she's going to cut ties eventually, her and her husband. And I really hope they're not stupid enough to pay you anything. And if they are, it's going to stop eventually because you stupidly again reveal their identity. I do, I do not know what's going on with you. I mean, I can guess you panicked because you knew that the content of the messages you sent women is so shit and so pathetic that you had to find a way to show people that no, you actually have women in your life. But that failed miserably 
again. I wonder what your next scoop is going to be. But that also led to, as I said, the poor damage control. I haven't even revealed anything, Bloho. I haven't even shown a single message. Why do you react so strongly? What do you have to hide? Why are you so afraid it's going to come out? Because I know I have some pretty severe shit, but your reaction makes me think that there is something much worse out there. And now you tantalized me. I'm going to be looking much harder because this, this amount of autistic screeching from you was unprecedented. Even when I revealed to the world that you're 5'4", you didn't have such an adverse reaction. So this shows to me that there is something out there and I'm going to find it. You know I'm going to find it because the messages I'm going to reveal today, I guarantee you had absolutely no clue that anyone could put their hands on it and I did. So you know what's coming next. And also, this is in response to you apparently not watching YouTube, but immediately doing damage control in line with my video. And then when I make a video about Rose not being good for novices, the next day you make a video saying the opposite. I thought you didn't watch YouTube. What happened? What exactly is going on here? Because you do that constantly. So there, there must be a reason. Why do you have, is it your reptilian overload powers that allow you to tap into human consciousness and you know what's on YouTube? I don't think so. I just think that you're on welfare, home, uh, unemployed, soon to be homeless, and that you spend your days on YouTube because you have nothing else to do. But where it actually gets really interesting is that this thing that I did was not just to make you, you know, very anxious for a month, which I know it did, and to make you spug out and create men's for us, guys. It was more than that, because I knew that you were going to delete those messages. I knew that you were going to go back to Facebook and just delete all of them to hide the truth. But since I also know that you are, in a sense, extremely vulnerable on that level, I knew you were going to go the extra mile. And I knew you were going to go into other areas that you have access to, to also scrub messages there. And that's where it gets interesting because the Facebook messages, I knew it was you because it's your Facebook account, your official Facebook account that you use to comment on your fan page, etc. But there were other accounts from other websites and forums that some people linked me to telling me it was you, but I have no proof. And understand that in these videos, every time I tell you something, I cross-reference and I verify five times because if I'm attacking a liar, I cannot be lying myself. I have to verify everything. So uh, those were insane men, especially on your potential homosexuality. But I didn't have any proof it was you. And then you went and you deleted all of those messages. So by doing that, you did what I wanted you to do. You revealed to me that you're the guy behind the account. So now in my next installments, I'm going to be able to use those messages. Thank you, Jason, for digging your own grave because you're not patient and you're stupid. And to finish this quick intro, I can tell you that he's going to freak the fuck out about this video and what I'm going to be what I'm going to be revealing because it is pure gold, but I'm not going to make you wait too long. Let's dig into it and start again from where we left off of part 15. We're going to continue with Moon Cookie because, and this is something I'm not going to talk about too much. I want to reserve that topic for uh, a segment about racism that I'm preparing. But there's a video with Moon Cookie where they're sitting next to each other, sipping red wine, where they were talking about the type of men that women liked. Because there was a video, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think it was done by uh, either Cassidy Campbell or the guy with glasses who was also uh, defrauding the government, whose name I forgot, who went outside and asked women by showing them pictures of different types of male body types, which one they preferred. And of course, they included Bloho. And all of the women, all of them, like there was no exception, all of the women said that the one body type they hated the most was his. Which is not surprising. I mean, for anyone with eyes to see, yeah, you're absolutely repulsive. It's, it's, not, it's not a surprise. You're the kid who, during soccer practice, was always selected last. And then we put you as the goalie so that we, we, do, we didn't have to look at you, waddle your fat ass as you ran. That's your life. It's also your life with women. Women are never going to pick you. Between a half-eaten cucumber that has been rotting on the street for five days and you... Most women will pick the cucumber because there's less chance of getting an STD, it's more pleasurable, it's bigger, it's harder, and on top of that, you don't have to speak to it. So, 
They were together discussing the video and of course they were both pretty pissed because, as I said, the video clearly showed that women didn't like him. And guess what their excuse was? Their excuse was that because the women in the video were inner city, aka non-whites, then their choices were bad and they had bad taste. And Moon Cookie felt the need to add that she was sophisticated because she went for Jason. You're not sophisticated, you're brain dead. Uh, any woman with a, not even a college education, a high school diploma will exchange two sentences with Bloho, think to herself, oh, he was either bonked on the head as a kid or escaped some sort of mental asylum. I need to create distance between me and this person if only to preserve my nostrils from his stench. You're the one who went home with the guy and actually became his official girlfriend. All of the women in that video, as hood and ghetto as they are, are 15 times more intelligent than you. But that was his big cope. Apparently, you have to have a big brain to like Bloho. Like, you're not an acquired taste. Like, Camembert is an acquired taste. Shit on the floor. No one acquires that. It's the reason why none of these women wanted you. But of course, he would tell you that chicks tell him he's ripped. This is the thumbnail, by the way. It's one of the first examples that happened of him trying to brag about getting women. He claimed that chicks told him he's ripped in person. He had to add, like, in person. So you separate between the women you, you actually try to hunt and prey on on the internet while you lie about who you are, hein, Bloho? Like, I'm going to expose you for afterwards. And the ones that actually see you. Again, no woman sees you and says, you're ripped. Women see uh, Brad Pitt and say, he's ripped, but not you. Maybe they said you're rip, like R.I.P., like you're dead, your life is already over. I think that's what they said. Or they mistook you for Ripido. You do have the same body types. I do like Ripido much more than you, by the way. And uh, he has a mustache, at least, so he's got something going for him. You, you are mistaken. No woman said that you were ripped. Maybe they were trying to rip something off of theirs to cover their nose because you smelled. That's a possibility as well. But yeah, you, you're covered in blubber. You're like the Michelin man, but less charismatic. In Tommy's garage, we clearly also saw that this reportion I just described is very real because <laughs> there's many footage of him sitting next to a woman and you can see the woman hinching away from him. She's like, ugh. And I don't know if it's because he smell, smelled, I think it straight that, but also that he exudes such an aura of betterness and submissiveness that it just dries out women's ovaries. I've heard that exposition to Bloho is like kryptonite to women's, meaning that it's going to dry you up. All of your, all of your desire for men is going to be consumed by this black hole of, of, of lack of sex appeal. It is actually very dangerous. But I think this is something that we could actually use in the future. I mean, if you want to be completely infertile and you don't want to go under the knife, Shake hands with Bloho and spend five, five minutes with him as a woman. That's all of the contraception you'll need for the rest of your life. Like, your body is going to tell, tell, tell itself, okay, we cannot let this person reproduce with us. We need to just self-explode, like self-combustion to preserve the human race and make sure that this person doesn't pass down their DNA. You could be very useful if we donated your body to science. That being said, I don't think science wants your body. And for the rest, I'm going to talk about that later. But as I said, he also claimed to have been in a dozen threesome. This also might just be a problem of comprehension on his part. Uh, maybe he doesn't understand what a threesome is. Maybe he thinks that him and his two hands is a threesome. In which case, yes, bro, you've been in many threesomes. Or you and two black gentlemen would also be a threesome. And if you think that this is uncalled for and an, uh, an invention, it happened. I'm not going to say when or why today, but it happened, not in the way you think. But Bloho does have a certain level of desire for ripped young black men. So if you're black, again, be very careful when you meet him. And for the last paragraph of this segment, before we get into the messages, I wanted to discuss uh, the advice he gives people on how to get women. Because as I said, he made fun of Alex from Alpha Destiny for being an incel. He also made fun of Alex for his pick up artist phase, which was really cringy. But to his defense, every single pick up artist on earth is a cringe lord. It's these guys just exude uh, just defeat. 
I don't understand people who take advice from them. They are clearly clueless when it comes to getting women. So Bloho wanted to give advice of his own because apparently most pickup artists are idiots and losers. And if you listen to Bloho again, this is, this is women. This is his understanding of how women function. They don't care about physique. They don't care about looks. Physical appearance doesn't matter to them. These are direct quotes from him. They don't care about big arms. They don't care about big, ch big chests. They don't care about height. They don't care about status. So uh, in Bloho's word, women are like some sort of more rats that lack a sense of smell and vision and just go for whatever. Like if you push a woman towards a tree, she would eventually end up marrying that tree. Uh, because of course, it's a wood and a, a, an environment that would make it propice for him to actually find someone except that that's not how it works women are extremely receptive to looks more than men even though you could argue that the same are pretty much uh, on the same level which is the reason why you can't get any by the way you've noticed i think that it's the reason why you're alone is because you are extremely ugly and there's no fighting that but if you listen to him again bulking up to 270 and being obese with a gut and no definition is the best way to get women because apparently the only apparently they don't like physique and, and and the body but the only part of the body they like is big glutes and big legs funny how the only portion of the body that they respond to is the one that you have quote unquote that that doesn't look uh, suspicious at all he also wants you to not care about about aesthetics because women don't care about it apparently but to me it's just a misplaced way for him to try and limit the competition. He's trying to curse young men into end up ending up like him, so he actually has a chance. I don't think it's going to work because you have no audience. A lot of the people who listen to you will already not get women because they're mentally ill and they won't even try and fix it. They are like you, they are just way deep down the rabbit hole of insanity. Of course, I say of course too many times in this video. I, I tend to have this, this problem, I need to fix this, but in this case, he also wants you to know that he used to have nice abs and that people approach him all the time. So women don't care about looks, but you brag about something that you cannot prove that happened in the past that apparently got you girls. Uh, I know you got zero girls in high school. I know you got zero girls in college. This is pretty much written in stone. And the people who approach you are imaginary blue hood are in your head because you have claimed several times to be out in public and have verified that you didn't, you didn't leave your house. So you going into the bathroom and playing pretend with puppets on your hands doesn't constitute social interactions. I know, shocking. He also says that people approach him for his glutes. I, I know that's so wood where you would like to live in where you could approach men and squeeze their glutes and it would be acceptable. But normal men and humans don't do that. No one approaches someone in public and say, oh, you have nice glutes, bro. Like life is not a porn, it's not a porn set. And on top of that, the type of porn set that would function like this are the type that you watch, and these don't include women. Which leads directly to the topic of female suck accounts, which is very important for the rest of this video because he constantly creates female suck accounts to compliment himself on his own videos. He wants you to know also that he has a female audience. Let me be clear, even someone like me, and I'm going to brag for a second, who is young, well-spoken and pretty good looking has a female audience comprised between two and 1%. And that is already very high for YouTube fitness. You looking like you do, the way you speak have zero women. I can put my bank account on the fact that there's not a single woman that watches your videos. It is not possible. Who are you trying to kid? Women don't watch that type of content. He recently created a sock account to say, he wrote a paragraph saying that he, he was, okay, I, I, I don't want to confuse you on this one. This is from memory, but he pretended to be a guy asking if he was open for coaching. And as the guy, he laughed and he said, oh, I catch my girlfriend watching your videos all the time. What woman would think, oh, I have 15 minutes open. What do I do? I know, watch a video of Jason Blow. That doesn't exist. Again, it shows that you know absolutely nothing about women. The time you spent with your mommy cooking, uh, cooking food and, and stuffing your face and becoming obese doesn't count. It didn't teach you anything relevant with women. You, as someone who was married two times, should know better. Women don't do that type of stuff. And women, especially MILFs, aka middle-aged middle women with kids, 
don't watch that type of channel. He claimed a year and a half ago that he had a MILF following and that was because he was wearing booty shorts. Women are not attracted by booty shorts. What world do you live in? Especially women who have stable situations with kids. He is trying to paint a world where he is such an animalistic magnet and chick magnet that he gets the pussy wet just existing. He has claimed in the past to have to reject married women because he just doesn't rule that way. Like, oh, you, so now you have a sense of honor? You fucked junky chicks, but you won't fuck a, a woman because she has a ring? How, how glorious of you, Master Bloho. But on top of that, married women have better at home. Like, their husband is certain to be better looking than you are, so they're not going to go for you. And the quote-unquote MILF following is in your head. But the funniest part of, part of the MILF following is that a certain character who you have seen in the comments by the name of Stevie Queenie decided to make it his life mission to make Bloho believe that he had a very strong and dedicated gay following. And that put an end to the entire MILF lop. Meaning that Bloho kept saying, oh, it's... It's MILFs watching me and Stevie Queenie in the comment would be like, Oh no, girl, it's just me and my boys. And Bloho was like, make it stop. And Stevie Queenie would just repeat and create stock accounts again and again. He must have created a hundred. This guy is amazing. And he did it so much with the help, help of other people that Bloho at some point was like, you know what? F screw it. I'm done claiming that women watch my, my videos. I'm done. It's... I think you scarred him for life. I think he is traumatized at this point. So good job. And we're going to pretty much end on that before I also uh, mention the fact that a big thing he did to, used to do in the past and a lot of people have forgotten about that is he would answer comments and he would type girlfriend typing before answering the comments. You know how girls do on the internet where they have to let you know they're a woman before they type? He would let you know that it was actually his girlfriend typing. The last time I saw that behavior was in me. When I was 12 years old and I was pretending on an on the online game to have a girlfriend from a different country. And I was pretending she was the one typing. Except I was 12, so it was sort of acceptable for you. It's just so fucking pathetic, my god. How do you live with yourself being that much of a desperate case. We know it wasn't your girlfriend typing, you loser. It's you. You know why we know? Because you make typos all the time. You can barely type in English. We can immediately tell that it's you. Same for your sock account. For God's sake, you only speak one language. Learn how to type it properly. Grammar is really not that hard. He also calls himself thick, which makes me want to puke in my mouth. You're not thick, you're obese. Women don't like guys like this. They would like you if you had a bigger upper body and you were actually strong, like a powerlifter or a strongman. Some women go for that chubby aesthetic. But you, your hippo mode, your lunch lady mode, you have mass in all of the wrong places. I've said it in the past. You are bottom heavy. The only person you can seduce is Big Lenny. Put on a wig, bend over, and let him do his magic. That's the one thing I'll say before we move to the very desired and requested messages. And I am not exaggerating when I'm telling you that this is the holy grail. All of the messages and the things I, I teased for you guys, this is it. A big portion is here. Not all of it, but a big portion. So we're going to get into it. I'm going to take my time. We're going to savor it. Because as I said, this took six months. This took people catfishing Bloho. This took a lot of time and patience. Talking to uh, admins from certain pages, if frequent, to get all of it. And I selected the best of the best because when it comes to actually getting information about the way he talks to women online, which is the only place where he talks to women, it's tough because I tried to catfish him, catfish him and just like with the, the, the teenager inquiry for the coaching, he never answered me because I think that he knows in his brain that there is absolutely no way a woman would reach out to him because he's too disgusting. Which is funny because when he creates sock accounts to compliment himself, he always uses the most attractive females you can find. But he's not that stupid to fall into that trap. So I had to be more cautious about it. I had to navigate my way. And I realized one thing at some point. He doesn't answer to direct me uh, private messages, but he will private message you 
if he sees your name on a certain Facebook page, because Facebook is his hunting ground and the page is called Strength 101, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I've been banned from this page multiple times. You cannot restrain me, motherfucker. I will keep going on my crusade. And on this page, I gathered all of the information, me and other people who also did this. So I'm going to start with the uh, messages that I found organically, which do not concern me or other people. These are not catfishes. These are just normal interactions that I found. And we're going to start right now, bit by bit. We're going to take our time. These are direct quotes. Get ready. The ment injection is right now. And now onto the mentiest of the ments, the cream of the crop, the stuff that took me and multiple people six months to actually amass. These are interactions between Bluho and actual women or what he perceives to be actual women because it took a lot of catfishing on our part to get that. And I've selected the all stars, the best that I could find, the stuff that is the perfect representation of the way he actually interacts with women outside of his head or what happens when he's talking to someone who he thinks is a woman. And all of this came from Facebook because he uses the powerlifting page to actually hunt women. And you'll see that his method of approach is always the same. He never ever answers when you message him directly because he's perfectly aware of the fact that no self-respecting women will actually do the first step. And he knows that when a pretty woman actually talks to him, it must be a catfish or a troll. So he's extremely wary. But the very methods he used make him vulnerable to people who know how to be subtle. And that's exactly what me and the guys have done. We have been very subtle. We have managed to let him find us and not the other way around. But before I get into that, these are the interactions that I have seen with my own two eyes between him and women that I could verify were actual women. The uh, first one is a sex brag, but you'll see that there's a few where he's actually harassing women, others where he is talking to himself. And for all of them, I have used exact quotation. I have written exactly what he said, like word for word. And the very first one was a conversation he had with another dude and they were talking about sex. First off, really strange. Uh, usually the guys who speak about it the most are the ones who do it the least, as we say in my language. And in this case, it was devolving and they eventually reached the point where they talked about the pullout. And on the topic of the pullout, this is what Bro had to say. My pullout game is on point! Exclamation point. Okay, not really. I have literally not pulled out like 2000 times. So he's trying to make us believe that he's had sex around 2000 times with women, unprotected sex at that, and that it's perfectly believable. He used like to sound vague so that we can't pinpoint him, but bro, you didn't even do it 20 times. So 2000 is of course out of the question. He continues, modern birth control combined with low sperm count and hyperspermia, in parentheses, don't knock it. Girls get a kick out the pole star moon money shots. I was all but say money shot because moon cookie was in my brain. Don't knock it, girls get a kick out the pole star money shots. You are not crazy. You're not dreaming. He's doing what you think he is doing. He is bragging about doing big cum. This is the meme from six years ago. I don't know if you guys remember that, the big cum meme. That one guy on 4chan that tried to pass out the idea that women liked it when you came buckets and it's the only thing they liked. It was him. It was Blow. We found the culprit. It was him all along, of course. Only him fits that description. Imagine being such a degenerate that you go on Facebook and you start telling other men how much you can come thinking it's going to make you look cool. He has no idea what men or women like to hear. No woman is going to select a partner based on the amount they can come. Life is not a porno, bro. I know that your only interaction and access to naked women is porno, but this is not reality. You need to realize that. Uh, of, on top of that, I'm sure it's a lie, but even saying that makes me uncomfortable. Why would you share that information with people? 
It's really strange. And the guy didn't answer because, of course, what do you want him to do with that information? You can come a ton. Cool. Great. He left. He, le he must have drank bleach to just rinse his memory of the knowledge you just shot with him. So that's, that's what he does unprompted. No one catfishes him. He just opens up with lines like this. Now, when he's actually talking to women, uh, our poor victim this time is called Georgine, interesting name, 22 years old, who asked for squat advice on this page. He answered, a lot of piss poor advice in this thread. Your stance is too narrow. You need to use your lower back more and bend over more when you go down. The way he squats, of course, but most importantly, do you see what's going on here? He's giving advice to a 22 year old uh, who is well of his league, of course, and the advice is eventually going to lead to that person getting injured. He's trying to put that poor woman into a wheelchair. It's his grand plan because if she ends up handicapped, he finally has a chance to catch up to her. The only people we can actually chase down are people in wheelchairs. It, thank God that woman didn't actually answer. She just ignored him completely. But I'm certain that it's, it's been his big master plan all along. He's trying to fatten young men to make sure that they can't compete on the sexual market and cripple the women so they can't run away from him, from his fat ass. That, so that was with a, a woman. It, he continues with more dick brag, again, this time unprompted. There was a conversation between a few people, and he, for some reason, decided to write. Again, no one asked. Did some ask? I left all of the, the grammar mistakes. Did some ask for my sexy deck pic? To which he attaches a picture of a deck. No one answers for like 20 minutes. Then a woman answers a very large deck too, with like eye emojis. He answers, it's made from the highest quality hardwood. Script straight from a porno, first off. Two, you would think to yourself, what woman writes this? A very large deck too? Women don't write stuff like this. F men flirt like this because we're complete bumbling idiots. You especially, Blow. Um, I took five seconds. I clicked on the woman's profile. I went into the details. The account was created 20 minutes before. So he created the account right after posting the first message. And it was an image from Google Image. So he posted a stupid pun that he thought was genius. Sexy deck pic, then a picture of a deck. And no one answered because cringe. And so he was so sad that he went and answered to his own message. And then on top of that, I did another pickup line. It's made of the highest quality hardwood. Amazing one-liners to get ladies. Like this is how you score girls at a bar. You serve them like, what is the name of that store? The hardwood store? You think that's what women want to hear? This is not smooth talking, bro. This is fully autistic. And I know we have autists on the channel. I apologize for saying that. I know that you would do better with the ladies because this is, this is just really catastrophically bad. But that's him talking to himself. So at the end of the day, it doesn't, doesn't actually lose anything. When he talks to real women, however, the same thing doesn't happen. He was uh, talking to Rita, who's 30 years old, who was fishing for compliments. She was saying something about being old. And he swooped in as the knight in the shiny armor and said to her, if I didn't have a zero dick pic or sexual harassment policy on social media, I would send you one to make you feel better. You, you have no such thing. You, you sent pictures of you in your breeches. We have access to them. We can see the carrot that you call your dick. You sent dick pics and no sexual harassment policy. You ask young men to strip for you that sexual harassment. Just being in your presence is you committing sexual harassment on someone. This is how repulsive you are. And no one wants your dick pics, to which Rita agrees because she answers, I didn't say that I wanted one. Code for, leave me alone, you fucking disgusting creep. That's how women talk. She's too nice to tell you to leave her alone. He is completely oblivious to that and continues. I'm a famous YouTuber. I get random Bob and Virginie pics. I'm very po polite and... Resp okay, let me stop. You're not a famous YouTuber. You're not. Your channel is a failure. No one recognizes you in real life. You have no money, no fame. You're a YouTube salary, yes, like Jason Genova, but not a YouTube celebrity. 
Uh, you also don't get random Bob and Virginie pics. Uh, on top of that, what the fuck is that meme? It's like a PewDiePie meme. You're 45. Act your age. This is ridiculous. It's disgusting. And I don't know if you know that, but women don't send pictures of their vaginas. That's the thing that men do, sending dick pics. You don't know what women are like completely. You are completely oblivious to the behavior of females. I'm very polite and respectful. No, you're not. These terms are the two farthest terms that I would use to describe someone like this. Polite, you behave poorly with your subscribers. You talk to them as if they were shit. Respectful, you were raised by pigs. I am fairly certain of that. Your table manners are disgusting. You speak with your mouth wide open. It is repulsive to even look at you. You are neither of these things. No one would use these terms to describe you. But it's actually a shock when it happens on my fan page. Your fan page is a joke. You have four to six likes per post. No one gives a fuck. The only people that idolize you are people who are even worse off than you, if that's even possible. She, thank God, didn't answer. She left and blocked him, I hope, because the fuck, she clearly didn't want to talk to you at all. But you continued. Why do you think that telling a woman you'll send her a dick pic to make her feel better will actually work? And then continuing by telling her that you have a famous YouTube channel and that people send you dick pics. How is that sexy? You have no idea of what it means to smooth talk women. But outside of the realm of actual women who reject your ass, you have conversations with yourself and things tend to go much better. When you brag, for example, that uh, you are big and strong, when a woman called Arlie Adam Conales wrote, I don't even have to zoom. Those hammies look strong and thick. On, underneath a picture of you with your fat ass, and then you spoke about your good morning. Bro, we know it's you. We know it's you. Women don't like big fat legs like you have. And on top of that, hammies. Women don't use that term, hammies. Strong and thick, that's the way you talk. You and your clique of weird closeted guys. And on top of that, Ali Adam Conales, I googled that name, that person doesn't exist. And the image that you used was linked to a person called Miranda. So congratulations on sucking at the one thing that you spend your day doing, which is suck accounts. Another iteration of that was by a woman called Sami Singh. Interesting, another exotic name, another ethnic name. So you hate their men, but you love their women. Okay. Who wrote, show off, underneath one of his pictures. He answers, but you did notice my midi quads, though. Midi quads. The, the, the vaginas of all women on earth, within hair shot of this, just, just dried up. Midi quads. This is not the way to talk to women. Midi quads, deck pick. The woman apparently answers, they're like thick slabs of meat. Thick slabs of meat. Can you think of any ejection of terms that is less feminine than thick slabs of meat. Only you speaks like this. Only you would think of such terms to describe the legs of someone. You are so disconnected with the reality of what a modern woman is that it's really pitiful. But you can just continue talking to yourself on Facebook with fake accounts if that makes you feel better. Because at the end of the day, when you talk to real women, it doesn't work like that. And then, we get to the part when you're not talking to yourself, but you're not talking to real women either, you're talking to catfishes. And this is the part where I have to warn you, because the overload of men will occur at this instance. You risk a heart attack at any point. I want you to be very cautious. Before we get into it, I'm going to give you one last chance to take a break and kiss your loved ones because, because before you have to go, and I'm going to check the time. Okay, so know that these are three occurrences of catfish that were done by two other people and myself that are the best of the best of the best of what we managed to do because catfishing him is actually quite tough because he's very paranoid and on top of that, talking to him is a chore because he's really, really boring and he makes grammar mistakes all the time. This is the top three. These are the three that managed to get the most info and ments out of it. The first one is by a guy called Conchita Vost. Conchita Vost, I don't know personally, but is apparently a very famous uh, transvest, transvestite, transsexual, whatever you want to call it. It's a guy who wears dresses with a beard, pretty much, which Bro didn't catch up on at all. He didn't know that. 
And on top of that, Conchita Vos, Conchita means it's a slang for vagina, and Vos is a slang for sausage. So congratulations for not picking up on that, Bloho. I mean, all of the blood in your brain, the few that you have actually have left into your dick and you just lost sight. That person posted on the Facebook page because, of course, you need to let him go to get, get to you. He wants to predate on you. And he asked advice on how to look more masculine, to which Bloho didn't realize it was a trap for him. He bit. I mean, we knew you like masculine women, Bloho. Moon Cookie looked like a linebacker. So we knew exactly what to say to get you in. Uh, I don't know if you actually like, like beards because Conchita Wurst is a bearded lady. But that didn't come into play yet because this was not the picture used by the catfish who started a discussion. And the topic of discussion chosen by that person was genius. They, dis they decided to talk about sausage. They started a discussion about sausage with Bloho, which got us many highlights, such as Bloho writing, I love Bradwurst, not Bradwurst, Bradwurst, B-R-A-D-W-U-R-S-T. Uh, a Freudian slip, most likely. You love the Wurst of Brad. Uh, because he thought that made him sound cultured, like apparently this is something that in his head is high status. It's not. He also said, I was deployed to Germany once and went to Oktoberfest. No, you didn't, you fucking liar. You, you were never deployed to Germany. You're constantly claiming stolen valor and then you pretend that you don't. Why? Because you know that military members are attractive in the eyes of women. But in this case, this doesn't work because on top of that, you wouldn't be let in with Oktoberfest. It would be cannibalism. You eating sausage is the equivalent of eating your brothers. It's not accepted by the German people. Conchita was very brave in the face of all of this stupidity and they kept a happy face and like a gullible personality. And the discussion on sausage lasted 40 minutes where such interesting questions as what is your favorite color of sausage was asked Bloho said, I don't know. So he's so vapid and void of any personality, he can't even come up with one. Uh, Conchita also asked, do you like purple sausage? Bloho didn't catch the dildo reference. He just said, I don't know what that is. And it went on and on and on. And they exchanged pictures of sausages, meaning that this person managed to get Bloho to go on Google, type sausage, or even go into one of his many private folders that are full of them, and just copy past pictures of sausages. This is how desperate he is for female attention, that he was willing to play that game with someone that he barely knew. They actually did that for a while. It ended because eventually uh, Bloho asked for a picture of Conchita. He said something fucking cheesy like, why won't you send a picture of you with a sausage? And she sent a picture of the actual Conchita verse, which is a bearded man, with a delightful Photoshop of a dick in the front or like a dildo or something. And Bloho blocked him immediately. So that was the first occurrence of the catfish. And you can see how pathetic Kof is that he'll do whatever to talk to an actual woman. The second one is by yours truly, your servitor. I created an account called Abuela Nova, which for the Spanish, uh, Spanish speakers means Grandma Nova. Nova is the name of the dog. Abuela means, uh, means grandma. And I asked advice on the squat because I knew he would bite. And he, of course, told me my stance was narrow and to do box squats. What a fucking surprise. I asked him about his job almost immediately uh, because I was very interested in him and hearing more about his personality. And he told me that he was a strength coach for world record holders and CEOs. You coach teenagers with mental issues and they are all stealing their parents' credit cards to pay for the bill. You are not coaching anyone relevant or value, you're just abusing vulnerable people. Just like here, you're trying to abuse vulnerable women who are too stupid to see through. What you didn't know is that all of the women you spoke to have bigger dicks than you. I then followed up by asking to, uh, for a pic of him. I wanted to see what it looked like. And he only sent me pics before the fire, quote unquote. So pics of him when he was in his bodybuilding days. Only. He never sent a single picture of what he looks like now. And when I asked for his stats, I wanted to see how, how tall he was because I claimed to be a fat, five feet tall a little woman, a petite woman. He sent me, uh, he told me that he was 5'11". So you can't even claim six feet. You're too pathetic to even have the guts to claim six feet. Okay. 
And he, of course, also asked me for a picture, which put me in a tough spot. So I tried to stall for a while and asked for more information. I wanted more meant from him. Uh, I didn't get what I wanted because he mostly talks about his, his mom, his dead mom, which Dex and your dead mom, great conversa conversation starters to woo women, blow. That is really going to put them in the mood. He also only tries to like segue into what he does for a living. I wanted to hear about his living situation and everything. He sort of told me he was an, a, a landowner and eventually he pressed me so much that I did send him a pic and I sent him a pic of his dog because I'm a shitlord and he blocked me. So Conchita and Abuela are both out of the picture. As we've, as we've noticed, we all followed the same strategy of using ethnic names because we know he responds really positively to them. I don't know why. And the last one is by uh, one of my fellow co-citizens who created an account called Alexa de la Bat using a picture of Alpha Destiny feminized for the profile. And you can tell it's Alex. Like you can tell it's Alex with long hair and lashes. Blow who couldn't tell. Just like he couldn't tell that my name was Grandma or that Conchita was a transvestite, he's so deeply in need for human connection and he's been through such a drought with women for like two years that he'll take whatever. He won't even think about it twice. So Alexa de la Bat, de la Bat, because de la Bat is like a baseball bat. Why? Because the baseball looks like a strapon for strap and destiny. He didn't catch that, of course. Alexa asked how to get bigger traps because if you're going to commit to a meme, why not go all the way? Bloho said deadlifts, because of course. And then Alexa followed up by something very smart. They asked, do you speak French? To which he could have just said no, because he doesn't, but he said yes. So then the rest of the conversation, which lasted maybe five, 10 minutes, is Bloho using Google Translate to try and understand what Alexa writes, and then writing back using Google Translate, which led to many gems, such as, je suis poussant, which means I am chic. I don't know what, he try, what he's trying to write here. Je aime la cheval, which is grammatically incorrect. J'aime le cheval, meaning I like to ride horses. You don't ride horses. You don't even have a car. You're trying to make yourself look high status. It doesn't work. Uh, y avait, there was something about uh, penis too. Je suis pénin. This means absolutely nothing. Pénin is not a word. I don't know where he got that from. But the conversation was mind-blowingly bad to the point that Alexa must have made just Herculean efforts to not, to not just burst. Because at some point, he was using uh, uh, Italian, full-on, full-blast Italian sentences, which led to what I can only describe as a conversation between someone who's deaf and someone whose tongue has been ripped out. He was writing in Italian, thinking it was French, and Alexa was trying to translate the Italian into French, sending back French at him. It was a mayhem. A lot of the time, he would add English sentences in the mix, uh, most of them experiencing high frustration. I don't know if he was joking off during the conversation. I hope not. None of us managed to get dick pics, by the way. Uh, I want to preserve the integrity of my team and the members of the Bloho and anti Bloho verse. So that was never actually something we reached. But at some point, Alexa just said, screw it, and told him, hey, translate this. Tu vas mourir tout seul, sale merde, which translates into, you're going to die alone, you piece of shit. He did, blocked him, and that's the end of it. But I think that this is a really good conclusion to this segment, because, yes, Bloho, you're going to die alone. I think that I've demonstrated that you have no access to women, that your lifestyle is not conducive to getting women, is that on top of that, even if you had those two things, your looks and attitude make it impossible. Look at this. Look at this, this piece of art. I'm going, to make, I'm going to frame this. This, I'm going to put an insurance on it. It should be in a lock, a vaulted lock somewhere. It is. It is a treasure of humanity, okay? The men's contained here are immense. This is the proof, Bloho, that you do not know how to talk to women. You do not know how to interact with the opposite gender. It is something that you are inept with, completely inept. We've seen that when you talk to women on Facebook, they ignore you completely. The only moment where you have a normal conversation is when it's you talking to us, the jihad, or you talking to yourself. And if that's not the perfect representation of what your life is going to be from now on, then I don't know what is. I'm going to leave you with that. Next big episodes you can expect are going to be about his potential homosexuality, his racism, 
Most likely this is the end of part two and if you were patient enough to wait for the men to get to this level, I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.